During the 1970s and 80s, commercial fishing boomed in Alaska. By the mid-1980s, deaths in this field were the leading cause of Alaska's high fatality rate. Today, the dangerous conditions have not changed, but new safety regulations and educational campaigns have done much to lower the number of work-related deaths. We were fishing a 60-foot steel boat. Our season was over. We had a real good load of crab aboard, and my boat apparently lost one of its wells on the bottom. We rolled over and sank in less than seven minutes, and myself and my two deckhands were suddenly without a boat, no survival suits, and we were drifting in 38 degree water. People are always amazed to find out that even though they think they're on a relatively large vessel, in a capsized situation with a stability problem, they can roll over in, in just moments, and they have uh, very little time to get anything else, maybe just grab their survival suit and get halfway in it and the boat is already gone. Training and practice drills to get people into their survival suits has been a major focus of NIOSH research and support 